creature that will rule the universe. To get Scott McKenzie in this ring. Ramada now. What a maneuver from the mind of wrestling. He goes for the cover. Might be a little earlier to try to get the victory over Scott McKenzie. Ramada now stomps on the chest of McKenzie. Off the ropes. What's he going to do here? Another vicious stomp. Ramana taking it to Scott McKenzie right from the beginning. What a night of action we've had so far here at the Ridgely Theater for Victory Ground Championship Wrestling. And we're only three matches in. This is our third match of the evening. We've already seen so much action here tonight. As now we see Lamana with those vicious kicks to the thighs. Could possibly be trying to Charlie horse the thighs of Scott McKenzie. And he's got him in the corner. Referee trying to get him out of there. You know, in, 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 the, in the short history of Victory Crown Championship Wrestling, we've seen a lot of people not like J.P. Lamana. We, we saw the, the vicious feud he had with Andy Dalton several months back. They had all sorts of brawls all over the building here at the Ridgely Theater. And then Scott McKenzie comes in as his tag team partner last month, turns on him. You gotta wonder what is it about J.P. Lamana that makes people not like him. The fans certainly like him here at the Ridgely. And now McKenzie ramming the forehead of Lamada into that ring post. These guys better be aware of the 10 count on the outside. I'm not sure they even care, to be honest with you. And now McKenzie just dropping the chin of Lamada across the ring apron. And he finally rolls him back into the ring. What a knee drop across the forehead of Lamada. McKenzie going for the cover, kind of nonchalantly, not even hooking the legs. Now McKenzie sitting in that rear chin lock on Lamada. Lamada trying to get the crowd behind him here at the Ridgely Theater. There you hear the, the cheers of support from the crowd here at the Ridgely in Fort Worth, Texas. I want to take this opportunity right now to tell you to check out our website, victorycrown.com. Lamada went for a drop kick. Now McKenzie caught him, but a reversal from Lamada. <laughs> Referee claiming that McKenzie's shoulder was not down. And now McKenzie catching Lamada off guard with that clothesline. Good job of officiating by the, by the referee. Well, Lamada thought he had those shoulders down. If he had the shoulders down, that might have been a three count. There we see a shot of Scott McKenzie giving the referee a very dirty look, not wanting to break the hold. And now he's got him on the ropes again, just raking the face of Lamada across that top rope. And we saw the chops earlier from Lamada. There's some of, of McKenzie's own. Irish whip into the turnbuckle, throws him in so hard, Lamada falls directly to the mat. And now Scott McKenzie mocking JT Lamada. And now he's just digging that boot into the side of the face of the mind of wrestling. And there we see McKenzie digging the knee into the back while he has that chin lock in. Putting pressure on two different points of the mind of wrestling. Scott McKenzie has wrestled all over this great state of Texas. We were lucky enough to have him here at Victor's Crown Championship Wrestling last month. But going back to what happened, I gotta believe these fans didn't see it coming. JG Lamada certainly didn't see it coming. And Scott McKenzie turned on him in that match with Christopher Hayden carrying Arcane Genesis. Now McKenzie, belly to back duplex, maybe no. A cover. This time McKenzie hooked the leg, but it was not enough. As Lamana got that left shoulder up. And now McKenzie going back to choking the mind of wrestling. 
McKenzie saying he's done. He's going to go for the Tombstone Piledriver. That usually does it for his matches. If he hits that, it's over with. Lamana, though, sliding out. Spinning back kick to the midsection of McKenzie. Spinning neck breaker from Lamana. But can the mind of wrestling cover Scott McKenzie? He's slow to make his way over. This could certainly cost JT Lamana. He hooks the leg. And McKenzie getting that left shoulder up just in the nick of time. And you got to wonder if Lamada would have had the three count if he were able to make the cover right away. Back to his feet now. This crowd is firmly behind the mind of wrestling. McKenzie turns around. Lamada looked like he was going for a Hornikarana. McKenzie countered it into a powerbomb. What a counter from Scott McKenzie. I thought that was going to do it. I think McKenzie did as well. The referee says it's only a two count. McKenzie's still arguing with him. He hasn't even made it back to his feet yet. Both men now slowly making their way up. Using the ropes for leverage. Now McKenzie has Lamada hooked. What's he going to go for here? Suplex, no, Lamada countered. One for that roaring elbow. No, McKenzie. So many counters. Lamana hits a third kick to the side of the head. And now a fourth. Vicious right hand. What fast paced action we've got here. And a hurry could run a while McKenzie was on his knees driving the head of Scott McKenzie into the mat. Wait a second, there's Andy Dalton. He's got the kendo stick. Lamana ducks out of the way. Lamana got the kendo stick away from Dalton. This is the second time tonight we've seen Andy Dalton and Scott McKenzie out here together. JT Lamata has the kendo stick begging Scott McKenzie to get back in the ring and I gotta say I don't blame him. Actually it's not a kendo stick, it's a pool stick. You gotta think that would have hurt even more. Referee laying the count in, he's at seven. Now he's at eight. And McKenzie and Dalton are making their way to the back. I don't think they want any part of JT Lamana. Here is your winner as a result of a count out, the mind of wrestling, JT Lamana. This match got underway before I could even get back here to the commentating table. Spoiler 2000 and Seth Shai wasting little time here in the opening minutes of this contest. Seth Shai now with Spoiler in the corner. Stomping a hole in him. 